almost halfway through 2024, believe oh. it or not. So now is the perfect time to review your finances and maybe make some adjustments for the rest of the year. And here to help us do that, CNBC senior personal finance correspondent, Sharon Epperson. Always love it when you're here, Sharon. Thanks Great for to be back. here. Great to be here. So what does a, a, a mid-year financial checkup actually entail? Well, a financial checkup is a holistic view of the state of your finances. So you want to go through everything from your cash flow to your debt to your emergency savings, retirement accounts, check up your insurance, your estate plan, and even maybe take a look at the taxes you're paying. And why do it now instead of waiting for an end of the year? You know, we year. think about the beginning of the year, we're going to set these goals, yeah. and then we just forget them, and they'll be automated. It doesn't really work that way. you got to check in every once in a while. Maybe it's not every two weeks. Maybe it's not every month. Maybe it's only every a couple times a year. This is the time of year to do it, six months in. And you say we should start by reviewing our cash flow. So important to answer yes to this question. Do you have more money coming in than you have going out? You need to understand your cash flow. Yeah. Look at your set spending and your savings for the month, the last couple of months, to see where you stand. And if you are spending too much, you got to dial back on something. Often it's on dining out. Sure. Many people are like, no, I'm just trying to get by. So when you're grocery shopping, look for the lower prices. Look for the unit prices, mm -hmm. not just the sale prices, to make sure you're paying less for that item. And then what I like to do, and it seems difficult, many people don't use cash anymore, but using a ca cash or a debit card makes you stick to your goals. How, why is it so much easier with cash? Because it's gone. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> you spend it, it's gone. That's true. All right. That's actually very true. My yes. grandfather used to only carry cash for that very reason. Yes. All right, let's talk about high interest rates. I guess it's good for accumulating debt, but bad for, or good for saving, Save bad for accumulating debt. Bad for accumulating debt when credit cards right now are near 25%, oh. other loans near 7% for a new car loan, 12% for a used car loan. You want to start to pay down that debt mm. and shop around and find out maybe if you could get, uh, pay less with a 0% balance transfer card or something, shop around for a different type of auto. Uh, um, loan rate, maybe. You almost just have to but be proactive about it, not just sit back be, and let it you, accumulate. Exactly. You yeah. have to be proactive about it. And the importance of doing that, it can improve your credit score. You Using less credit, that helps to improve your credit score, and that might give you better rates on cards and loans and things like that. Okay. Uh, the positive, yeah. that high yield savings at 4 to 5%, it's just sitting there. Mm. It's just sitting there. So if you don't have a high yield okay. savings account, that's something you want to do. Okay. You've talked a lot about this. This never gets old. Emergency funds, retirement savings. The challenge is some people are only making <laughs> enough to pay their bills. But and you so know why I talk about it? Why? Because I'm always trying to get there. Well, I, it's well, hard to get I there. I so many it's people are. It's hard to get yeah. there. But, but it's a goal to have, even if you just have one month, start there. Yeah. Have one month of your living expenses saved and then work from there because you just never know what might happen. So that's that's a good place to start. Now is a great time also to look at your retirement accounts. Yeah. If you have a 401k, now this year you can put in $23 thousand dollars into a 401k thirty thousand five hundred dollars if you're 50 or older okay. and so you want to see maybe if you're on track not to reach that much but at least get the company's Great. matching contribution Absolutely. if that happens That's same good. with the ira you want to make sure you contribute to a traditional or a roth ira up to seven thousand dollars eight thousand just put something in there oh, know good. that you can do that and and look at the risk that you're taking um in your in these investments you want to make sure that you're taking appropriate risk even if you're close to retirement you may have a long time in retirement so make sure you're taking appropriate risk people are like well how do I know that target date funds All does right. it for you. Let's Good. move from an IRA yeah. to the IRS. It's yeah. uh, mid, mid, <laughs> mid year, but not too early to start thinking about it's next year's tasks. Because if you got hit and you were like, how did this happen? Uh, Maybe you didn't have enough withholding taken uh, out of your taxes, right. with taxes withheld, I should say, from your pay. You want to check and make sure that the right amount is being held, particularly if you have gotten another job or you took on more income. And if you do are self-employed or you do have a part-time job, make sure you're paying estimated tax. Mm -hmm. Monday is the second quarter quarter deadline for estimated tax payments. So you want to make sure that you're on target for that so you don't underpay or pay a late penalty in April and meet with your tax preparer to go over all of that. How do we protect what we've already got? You got to be insured. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure you have appropriate insurance. So now is the time to check. Check your disability insurance, life insurance, health insurance. Make sure the coverage aligns with your needs. You may not be able to change things like your health insurance right. until open enrollment, mm -hmm. but it's still a good time to just see what you have and where you stand. Make sure you understand what the coverage limits are. Mm -hmm. And then also, this is a great time again. Look for the discounts. Yeah. If you're bundling your homeowner's bundling insurance, your big, car that's all you see, see you these can, commercials talking about. Absolutely, you mm -hmm. can get you can get a lower rate. All right, sure. Yeah. Always great tips. Thank you, Sharon. Always great tips. Mm -hmm.